It's here in Carlisle at Allied Signal that Britain's most famous seat belts are made. Every week, some 430 miles of seat belt webbing is delivered at one end of the factory and comes out the other as finished products for Rover, Nissan, General Motors, Jaguar and Rolls-Royce. The company started its life in 1937 as Kangol, manufacturing French berries, and went on to supply the British Army throughout the Second World War. From French berries, the company progressed to motorcycle crash helmets, and then in 1962, to safety harnesses. By the 70s, the company had become known as one of the world's leading safety belt manufacturers, but something was seriously wrong. The company was making huge losses. Despite a turnover of 12 million pounds in 1980, it made a loss of a quarter of a million pounds. There was very little in the way of quality control. Strikes were a constant threat. Market share was declining. Staff turnover and absenteeism were at an all-time high. Hazel Warwick and Ray Pearson remember it well. I started on the production lines, and in those days, management style was to rule by fear and not to speak to anyone. They didn't think much of us, and they referred to the jobs as monkey jobs, and I had no intention to stay in. And I started as a line end boy, a general's dog's body, a bit of a gopher. I thought I had a lot to offer, no one would listen. The working atmosphere was terrible. I kept telling myself, I've just got to leave. But Hazel and Ray did stay. They were trained, encouraged and promoted. In Ray's case, to be the manager of the business centre, and in Hazel's case, to the board of directors in charge of human resources. It was a transition that would never have happened before. What had changed? Alan Tucker has been managing director since 1980. I think two things happened to us in the early 80s. Uh, first of all, we organised an open day here at the factory. We thought it was for the benefit of the local community, but we were surprised 90% of the people attending were our own workforce, which demonstrated to us the tremendous interest the workforce had in this business. The second thing was uh, I went to Japan and I saw at first hand how the Japanese industry had harnessed the uh, abilities of their entire workforce to make decisions. Uh, here in the UK, we were absolutely swamped in the uh, tradition that only managers could make decisions. And uh, when we saw at first hand what was being achieved in Japan, it determined us to change things here in Carlisle. First thing we did was dismantle the old production lines and we replaced them with teams, total quality teams of people whom we trained and empowered to make their own decisions, basically to be in charge of their own destiny, to solve the problems of their own workplace. They went from making a small part of a product to a complete product. We empowered them to do that, we trained them with the necessary tools, and we encouraged them to get on with it. This is one of the total quality teams, a team of machinist assemblers who call themselves the achievers, hardly surprising when you consider what they've achieved for the company. So Janet, what was the problem? The magic eye in the machine detects the joins in the webbing, then it rejects it. This amounted to wasting one mile of webbing each week. Lorna, what did you do about it? We spent a long time looking how to use the waste webbing and we come to the solution of making a safety buckle. This saved the company £30,000 a year. Before investors in people, we'd never thought about the idea. In April 1992, Allied Signal was officially awarded the Investors in People standard. But was it worth it? Most emphatically, since the early 80s, we've seen our turnover increase from £12 million a year to £57 million a year. We've gone from a heavy loss-making situation into a profit situation. We'll make £4.5 million profit this year. Frankly, if we had not invested in people way back in 82 and continued to do so right through to today, we would not be here to tell the story. We would have been bankrupted. 